Hey everyone, Canva just released their AI art equivalent, the text to image feature. So I decided to put Canva, Jarvis, and WriteSonic head to head in a little AI art test. So whenever you log into your Canva, you're just going to go over to text to image. I'm not going to talk about where it's at because it's beta, it could change, but it's right inside your canvas. And one of the best things about the Canva text to image tool is that you can choose the size of your canvas right inside of Canva and then create the image and drag it over which will make it bigger or select where on the canvas you're going to have it. I'm really liking it. I'm going to do the same exact input for each tool and then I'll show some of the features as well. So we're going to do a watercolor illustration Dr. Seuss style trees overlooking a beach. And I'm going to go over here to Jasper and do the same thing. I'm just going to do freeform. I'm not selecting anything that will be different. And then I'm going to go over to Write Sonic and do the same thing. This is the image that Canva came up with. It's all right. Not the style I was going for necessarily, but still very nice detailed kind of twisty not really dr seuss but let's see what jasper came up with uh, one of the pros to using jasper ai for art is jasper gives you four outputs and so whenever you're generating these you don't have to wait for one output that you might not use you can generate four and usually there's going to be one you could use this is kind of what i was picturing with Dr. Seuss style. I do like these outputs. And then Write Sonic, yikes. Uh, definitely missed the mark on these. Not that this is terrible, but it's not what I was requesting. So let's do another quick one. And with Canva, there are a few options here. You can grab one of these as inspiration just to start playing around. You can choose the surprise me button, which means it might be a photo, it might be a drawing, it might be a painting, it might be a concept. Uh, so they have concept art, pattern, painting, 3D, drawing, and photo. So we're going to go ahead and select photo and do watercolor, illustration, beautiful woman, long hair, colorful. And over here in Jasper, one of the things I really like is that you can choose a style, a medium, an artist, a mood, and keywords. So we're going to go with photorealistic. And then with Write Sonic, let's see what we get here. This is an awesome output. I'm really a fan. And the face isn't weird and distorted like it usually is with Jasper, you know, the first go through. I will show you some of the ones I've created in Jasper though. Jasper has done a wonderful job. There's one. I'm very happy with the outputs that I've gotten after playing around for a little while. You've got to be pretty specific, but overall I'm very happy with all of the Jasper outputs. And I love that you get four outputs at once. So if you don't like one, like, I don't want this. I didn't want, I'm not painting the woman, right? I didn't like that. This one's nice, even though it's also like I'm painting it. Look at this one. That face is actually better than what it has been doing. So that's good. I'm a fan. It's not as bright and colorful as the other, but it's still colorful. And then we have Right Sonic, which this isn't terrible. I like it. It's very abstract. Uh, now with Write Sonic, it does cost 100 premium word credits for two image generations. Well, it's one generation, but you get two images. Uh, it's included unlimited in Canva. And I have unlimited Jasper, so it's included in mine as well. I do have an email in to the Jasper team asking them what their plans are, if they're going to have a standalone plan or not. So when I get that email back, I will put the answer in the comments below. Let's try one more input. 
I'm going to choose concept art here just because I haven't tried this yet. And then I'm going to put here and then say concept art just so it's as similar as possible. And I will do the same thing with Right Sonic. My input here was kayak on river, trees in background. While this is a nice little painting, it does not look like concept art to me and it does not have a kayak. So let's go to painting and see if it does any better. The thing about any of the AI tools, whether you're writing or you're doing art or whatever, is you've got to learn to do the dance. So whether you're dancing with Jasper or you're dancing with Right Sonic or Canva, you've got to figure out the little nuances and the right inputs to put in to get the good outputs. This is kind of what I had in mind. I didn't really think about a person being in it, but I guess if the kayak is in the river, then there has to be a person, right? <laughs> so this is a little creepy with the person, but uh, I like the realism of the trees. And last but not least, hey, look at this. Right Sonic actually did what I was thinking, like the kayak in the river without a person, which doesn't really make sense now that we think about it, right? But very pretty. So overall, they're very easy to use. There's not much of a learning curve and the outputs, at least on Canva, are unlimited. And then if you have the unlimited Jasper as well, um, I'm not sure how they charge for the outputs otherwise because I am on the unlimited plan. And then with Right Sonic, like I said, it's 100 premium words for one generation or two images. I'm not gonna say which one of these is the best because it depends on a few factors. Number one, if you are completely strapped for cash and you can't afford Jasper AI with the added $20 a month for art, which that's going to change, but that's what it is at the time of the recording. And then with Right Sonic, they're taking a hundred premium words every time. I don't like that because a lot of the outputs are not something I can use. So I need something unlimited. So I'm not using Right Sonic for my art. Because Canva has this and it's brand new, I am going to try it when I'm in Canva. But overall for me, Jasper is the right tool because I get unlimited outputs. There's four at a time. It's slightly faster than Canva and Right Sonic as far as generating, at least in my experience. And the Jasper team has done a wonderful job making improvements, which it seems like daily because when I first started using this tool, which was like maybe two weeks ago, uh, the faces all looked like gargoyles and now they actually look like faces. So I think that the Jasper team definitely deserves kudos for that. If you are bootstrapped for money, I would use Canva and just be patient with the singular output and it being in beta use some of the info from Jasper. So look at these styles, look at the mediums and artists, etc., and put those into your Canva box over here in the text to image. And then if you're using Right Sonic and you know that you're not going to use all of your words for the month, you can definitely use it for AI and just do the 100 premium words, but there's only two outputs, so it really just depends. I know that's not what you guys are looking for. I'm sticking with Jasper for now. I will let you know if there's a tool that does better than Jasper Art. You guys know I've switched to Write Sonic for most of my writing, but as far as the art goes, man, Jasper is the clear winner for now. And like I said, whenever I get that response from them, if I get a response, I will pop it into the description below. I would love to hear your experience. Tell me which art AI tools you're using, what you're using them for, and how you are liking them. Go ahead and watch the other video that I created that shows how you can use Jasper Art or Canva Art or Write Sonic Art to make money. I think there were like 25 ways and there are already people making money with them. So hop on the train, get going, don't get left behind, go make some money with it, and then you'll have your pick of the litter when it comes to AI tools because you can afford whichever one you want to use. 
And don't forget to check out the description. I do have a free download for you guys. It's a Jasper art guide, but you can use it for any art tool that you are using.